George Floyd died of a lack of oxygen from being pinned to the pavement with a knee on his neck. Medical experts testified at former officer Derek Chauvin's murder trial Thursday, emphatically rejecting the defense theory that Floyd's drug use and underlying health problems killed him. A healthy person subjected to what Mr. Floyd was subjected to would have died as a result, said prosecution witness Dr. Martin Tobin, a lung and critical care specialist at the Edward Hines Jr. VA Hospital and the Medical School of Loyola University Chicago. Using easy-to-understand language to explain medical concepts and loosening his necktie to illustrate a point, Tobin told the jury that Floyd's breathing was severely constricted while Chauvin and two other Minneapolis police officers held the 46-year-old black man down on his stomach in May with his hands cuffed behind him and his face jammed against the pavement. The lack of oxygen resulted in brain damage and caused Floyd's heart to stop, Tobin said. Analyzing images of the three officers restraining Floyd for what prosecutors say was almost nine and a half minutes, the doctor testified that Chauvin's knee was virtually on the neck more than 90% of the time. Tobin said several other factors also made it difficult for Floyd to breathe. Officers lifting up on his handcuffs, the hard pavement, his prone position, his turned head and a knee on his back. Chauvin kept his knee on Floyd's neck for three minutes and two seconds after Floyd took his last breath, Tobin said. After that last breath, Floyd had reached the point where there was not one ounce of oxygen left in the body, the doctor said. As prosecutors repeatedly played a video clip of Floyd on the ground, Tobin pinpointed what he said was a change in the man's face that told him Floyd was dead. That moment happened around five minutes after police began holding Floyd down. At the beginning you can see he's conscious, you can see slight flickering, and then it disappears, Tobin said. That's the moment the life goes out of his body. Chauvin, 45, is charged with murder and manslaughter in Floyd's May 25 death. Floyd was arrested outside a neighborhood market on suspicion of trying to pass a counterfeit $20 bill. Bystander video of Floyd crying that he couldn't breathe as onlookers yelled at Chauvin to get off him sparked protests and scattered violence around the U.S. last year. Tobin also said the fact that Floyd was talking and can be seen moving on video does not indicate that he was breathing adequately. He said that a leg movement seen in the video was an involuntary movement resulting from a fatal brain injury and that a person can continue to speak until the airway narrows to 15%, after which they are in deep trouble. Officers can be heard on video telling Floyd that if he can talk, he can breathe. All data is taken from the source. http colon slash slash latimes.com article link. https colon slash slash www.latimes.com slash world nation slash story slash 2021 04 08 slash expert dash says dash Floyd dash died dash from dash a dash lack dash of dash oxygen. Hash Floyd Hash News World Hash News Today Update Hash News Today Headlines Hash News World BBC Hash King World News Hash